Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're back with our video tutorials on Cubase 12. So today we're going to learn how to uh, configure a MIDI controller in Cubase 12. So let's go ahead. Um, so I have a, I have my personal MIDI controller. It's a, um, it's like a piano, right? It looks like a piano or like a keyboard. Uh, it's an M Audio Oxygen 61. So the first thing you want to do before you even open Cubase or anything like that, go to your MIDI controllers website, uh, the manufacturer and try to look for the drivers. Okay. Um, some of these have drivers. Some of these don't even need them. Um, so just, just make sure that if there's any kind of driver, you download it and you make sure that when you download and the one you install is the one designed for your, uh, operating system. So in this case, it's, you know, Windows 10. If you're in Windows 10, get that driver, install it. Um, you might as well just reboot the computer after that, and then you can open Cubase. So I have done that. Okay. I got the driver. It's been installed. Um, the, I, I rebooted the computer. It's, it's connected. It's on, you know, the MIDI controller. So now let's go ahead and open Cubase. So, um, Here's again my project window. If I go to studio, studio setup, once again, the studio setup window, very important window, okay? Um, we talked about the audio system and how to set up your console. Now we're gonna talk about the MIDI system and how to set your MIDI. So in this case, check what happened. If you go to audio setup and you click on here in MIDI and then underneath it says, it says MIDI port setup and you see the little uh, MIDI jack there, okay? You click there. And here's your MIDI port setup. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to resize that so it's easier to read. Do that, and then that, and then that. So, okay. So you can see um, Cubase is smart enough to actually recognize my Oxygen 61 already. You can see it's, it appears twice. Now, why does it appear twice? Great question. Um, it appears as in and out. So it can receive uh, out, um, MIDI and it can also send MIDI. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna be using it to send MIDI. So this is what matters to me, okay? So the output. And you can see it says uh, Oxygen 61, that's the name of the MIDI keyboard. Uh, it has output. It'll show as Oxygen 61. It is visible, you see that check mark there? And it says active. That's it, we're good. Um, Cubase, um, was very smart and it saw that I had that install. It saw that I had it connected and automatically assign it to the software, both as the MIDI in and MIDI out versions. Okay. I guess options. Um, you can see it says active, so I'm ready to go. It's good. Um, I can just press okay and I'll be good to go. I can use the, the Oxygen 61. I could load any kind of virtual instrument and I should be able to play with it. Uh, there's these options down here, like using the system timestamp for Windows MIDI input or, you know, use device Win RT MIDI. This is totally optional. I don't use any of these, honestly. So if you see your MIDI controller here, you see the name, you see the options in and out, it's active, it's visible, you should be good to go. So if you click OK, that's it. We have properly uh, configured our MIDI um, keyboard, in this case, MIDI controller keyboard in Cubase. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorials. We're going to keep working on the basics, uh, the configurations, all the stuff that you do. Um, I guess the stuff that I call the pre-flight check, okay? All this stuff you check before you start working um, in your sessions, okay? So that's it for today. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.